good morning students today we will continue with the next part of mathematics of the lesson number 6 integers today we will be studying about the addition of integers in the case of counting numbers we noted that addition means moving to the right on the number line the same holds good in the case of positive integers some rules should be kept in mind while moving on the number line adding a positive integer means moving to the right and adding a negative integer means moving to the left on the number line suppose we have two numbers on the number line 5 and minus 7 these are two integers and we want to add these so 5 plus minus 7 plus minus symbol is there so it becomes plus minus is minus this is a rule and then 5 minus 7 is equal to minus 2 so first we will mark from 0 to 5 5 places we will take then it is minus 7 so from 5 we will take up till minus 2 seven places we will take and then we add and we get it as minus 2 then we have another um, two more integers on the number in the second example like minus 2 and plus 6 so first we are taking from 0 to minus 2 two places then again from minus 2 we are taking six places from minus 2 we are going up to 4 so the distance is 6 minus 2 then minus from minus 2 to minus 1 then minus 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 so this distance between uh, these uh, integers is six places so after adding these what do we get we get answer as 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 let's understand the concept of adding integers suppose for example 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 so first on the number number line we mark up till from 0 to 2 and then again five more places means up till 7 it will go means up till uh, five more places it will be counted then it will be up till 7 in the next integers we have 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 first we take the integer from 0 to 3 and then we take the next integer from 3 to 9 that is six places will be shifted and our mm, uh, this integer addition is there so it is up till it is 6 plus 3 9 now it is minus 2 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 6 how we are getting minus 6 uh, first from 0 to minus 2 will go then again from minus 2 to minus 6 we will go why because we have to move to the four places minus 4 means we have to shift to four places on the left so how it will be solved minus 2 then again plus minus sign is given it becomes plus minus is minus so minus 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 6 because here sign in both minus 2 and minus 4 the signs are same so when the sign is same we add the integers so after adding we get 6 and we are putting the minus sign why because the bigger integer from among these two from minus 2 and minus 4 minus 4 is having uh, minus sign so its sign will be put of a bigger integer look at the example number a subtract plus 4 from plus 7 so plus 7 minus 4 we have to do so on the number line we are moving from 0 to plus 7 then again we are moving to minus 4 from plus 3 we are moving to plus uh, plus 3 we are moving to plus 7 so in between the number of places are from 3 to 7 the number of places are 4 means minus 4 so 7 plus and minus 4 is equal to 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 let's take another example 3 minus and again minus 5 inside the bracket so on the number line what we will do we will take first 3 0 is from 0 it's starting and going up till plus 3 then it is saying that we need to subtract this from minus 5 
so when the sign is minus minus the um, the it actually it is subtraction so when the sign is minus minus it becomes plus means plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 means on the number line we are moving from uh, 0 to 3 then again we are moving from 3 to 8 how many places we are moving we are moving five places so total of plus 8 is coming on the number look at few more examples of addition and subtraction of integers 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2 3 plus minus 3 is equal to 0 4 minus minus 2 is equal to minus minus plus 4 plus 2 is 6 let's look at the rules for adding positive and negative integers suppose the integer sign is plus and plus we are having two integers and my operation what i have to do with those two integers those who are having the plus sign we have to add those. so answer sign will be plus suppose my uh, for example 2 is one integer and 5 is another integer so when we are adding the sign is same plus plus answer is 7 it gets added the integers get added and the sign is plus suppose i have another two integers one is having minus sign another integer is also having minus sign and then what we have to do with them we have to add it so answer sign will be minus just take the example minus 2 minus 5 so here both the integers are having same sign means minus minus sign are there so actually we will add them after adding 2 and 5 we get 7 and we are putting the sign here minus why we are putting minus 7 because we will look at the integer which is bigger and we will see the in, uh, sign of uh, what is the sign of that uh, bigger integer so here it is minus 5 so minus uh, sign will be put before 7 let's uh, see the third rule suppose i have one integer as plus and uh, another integer i am having in negative and i have to subtract them so what will i do which which sign will i put in my answer it will be the larger integer sign whichever is the larger integer the sign will be put of that integer integer suppose it is 2 minus 5 so 2 minus 5 is uh, here uh, minus 5 is having a minus sign so this will be my sign it's a larger integer sign and then 2 uh, minus 5 is equal to minus 3 suppose i am having minus uh, one integer and another integer is having plus sign then what will i do i have to subtract in that and which sign i can put over here when the signs are different the sign will be of the larger integer suppose i am having minus 2 plus 5 here plus 5 is bigger so plus sign will be put and 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 so my dear students on the basis of this concept try to solve exercise 6.3 in your copies thank you